Hello everyone, Lime Squad here, and today we are doing a build and team comp guide of Razor. He is my favourite character, he's my main. Um, I haven't got his friendship level up, but again, that's because I'm not really high in adventure rank. I'm only at about adventure rank 46. So, first order of business, we'll look at his stats. So, I'd probably say that the first thing you want is. Attack. So as you can see, um, my razor has 2,120 base attack. Next thing is probably some crit rate to crit damage. I have a very good crit damage stat, but again, that's because I've been working on um, his key feature, which is his physical damage. So if I just scroll down here, I have 50% physical damage bonus. Now that's going to be really good for Razor because if I just go up this real quick, you can see his key thing is his autos. 215% of the attack goes into one auto attack. Next thing on the list is a weapon. So I don't have any 5 star options, but if you've got a 5 star um, claymore or if you're trying to get 5 star claymores, I recommend going with either Skyward Pride or um, Monster Greystone, which should be on the screen right now. And currently I have Push Up Archaic, and you could also use Serpent Spine, or maybe Sacrificial Great Sword if you just, I don't know what you'd be doing then. The Bell, I know I have it raised, but it's probably not a good option for Razor. HP% percent really isn't needed compared to the attack boost that he actually really needs from something like the Push Up Archaic. Again, the next part of Razor that you really want to pay attention to is artifacts. In the artifacts menu here, you can see I have two piece pale flame and two piece mobile so blind. Now I wouldn't say it's probably the, the best idea to go with mobile so blind because he doesn't really need it. I kind of just got the stats off of it to use it to boost his attack because as you can see I have 1200 attack coming off of these artifact sets. So first is Pale Flame, it's the newest artifact set to be added along with um, Tenacity of the Minilith. It's still very good. Uh, the four piece set bonus I say is probably better than the Bloodstained Chivalry which also gives physical damage bonus. Well, we'll look at the artifacts now so you can kind of see what you want from the character. So you can see here, I have some crit damage coming off of this artifact. Obviously it's not maxed yet, but it is still uh, very good. I don't know why I haven't locked it yet. And as you can see, I've got attack rolls. I did unfortunately get a defense roll, but that sometimes happens when you're farming artifacts. Next is my flower. Again, I have more crit damage rolls and attack rolls. For this flower, I'll lock it as well, because if you have a good artifact, to make sure that it's not accidentally fused into something else, you've got to lock it, because, um, again, if you take it off of that, of that character, you might accidentally fuse it into something you don't want to fuse it into, so like, so like a uh, trashy viridescent flower, that's not really trash. It's honestly got a lot better stuff than what I have on my venti at the moment. Uh, and next is my timepiece. I do have attack percent because again I want as much attack as I can get and I have crit rate rolls. Again more attack percent. I think usually people would put physical damage bonus on a razor but I prefer to go with brute force over physical damage but again I'd, I suggest you go physical damage. And finally you need a crit rate hat. I have, I don't, I don't think my any of my DPSs don't have either a crit rate or a crit damage hat, save for my jungling, who um has kind of different stats on her goblet and timepiece instead of her hat. As you can see, my Zhao has got crit damage, and my Tartaglia has crit rate on his hat. And I'll just lock this again because they're precious artifacts you don't want to lose. The next part of Razor you really want to build is his talents. Now, for his talents, again, he thrives off of physical damage. This is why you should usually level up his normal attack, 
And currently, I do have it boosted by a level because I have Tartaglia on my party. And right here, you can see it is level 8. It has some really good stats on it, obviously. And um, yeah, it is a pretty good um, stat. Next, you should move on to your skill. Um, your skill should probably be level 6 or level 7. I've almost got mine to level up. I just need talent materials on Mora because I'm really skint on Mora at the moment. And I say probably it's best to um, hold a lot of the time because a lot of the time you're going to be needing um, some crowd control or just some brute force damage to destroy an opponent. To destroy an opponent, hold damage is probably just the best for that. And then you can see press skill damage 270 percent. Hold skill damage is 413, which again is insane. And the energy recharge bonus um, is 20% plus sigil, which is when you press, you get the sigils and the three sigils will then add more damage to your hold. And then you have this ultimate. I do have no blue side blight on Razor, so I have an extra 20% damage on top of the 224%. Obviously, he summons the wolf within and is 33% of his normal attack, which is why... Usually you want to build the attack up incredibly high because you get all of that electro damage coming in and you get his attack speed um, as well, which helps him deal more auto attacks faster, which is obviously really good for a razor. And you're also going to have a look at his, um, at, his, at his passives. I'd most likely say you need to get him above level 70 if um, you're building him because once his energy is below 50%, his energy recharge is increased by 30%, which is obviously which is obviously very great in because you can charge up his energy faster, get his ult out, get the attack boost. And um, his awakening passive decreases claw and thunder's cooldown by 18%, which is really good. And using his ultimate um, resets the cooldown of his E. Hello again. Um, we're now going to look at team build for Razor. This team that I have on screen right now is my personal favourite team. Um, it obviously throws with electrocharged reactions and it consists of Razor, Tartaglia, Jinchu, and Venti. Now this works um, for a number of reasons. First is that when re that um, you put Tartaglia in first, you deal the 100 damage in a burst, then you pull him out and put Razor in. And this is where Razor shines because he electrocharges the enemies and then he can just beat them down and they won't be able to stop him because they'll be constantly being hit by the electrocharge damage. And then we have Jing Chu on here because we can get Hydro Resonance to improve his healing stat from his, um, his level 20 passive and he can heal Razor on the battlefield. So usually you put Sacrificial Sword on him. So you run on the battlefield, pop his ear a couple of times um, to get his ult charged up pop his ult, switch back to Razor, and just slay. And then we have Venti in for crowd control to group all the enemies together to be destroyed by Razor's attacks. Um, I'll probably put up a clip of him in action as well. Alright, so we're in the Viridescent Verona domain, and I'm going to show you how this team comp works, essentially. So right now, obviously I have my... Um, main team that I've just talked about and we're gonna go and start. So let's turn in Tataglia. Tap Hydra on all of these guys. Do not use this burst. It's important that you don't use this burst because um because that will be useful for later. As you can see, they're being hit by electrocharged. They're not being able to interrupt my attacks. Right, and now we bring in Venti for crowd control. And this is where we put Tartaglia's ultimate. And we use Raze's race, race elemental skill. And we bring in Jing Chu. And then. Going with vent going with um, razor and slay. And you can see 
Oh man, my controller lost connection there. Oh god. <laughs> As you can see, she's moving into her uh, other form. There won't be much of a hindrance because now she's already dead. Yes, yeah, so that just shows how the um, team comp works. I know I didn't really use um, Jing Chu here, you know, the poor guy. But um, again, I didn't really have much need for healing. You know, Raze is in a good state at the moment. So I'll just claim the rewards. See what I get. Oh, uh, luck is not on my side today. All right, so here we have one of the more budget team options. We have Raja, obviously, Zhang Ling for Pyro support, Jin Chu for his healing quality, and Cross. So. Right now, we are going to go and show them in action. Now, so we're in the iridescent domain. We have our suit cross, we have our razor, we have our jar we just show, um, So usually, you would put sacrificial fragments on your suit cross. I'll just give her Venti's artifacts for the moment. So yeah, we've got the built suit cross, and now we move in. The first thing that people don't want to do is proc Venti's E. When you're moving your suit cross. Oh god, no, Goba, what you doing? Goba, no! Right now, look, she's got his rain swords. And you're going in Venti. I don't know why we say Venti. <laughs> oh, nothing wants to be really tired. See, and now we've got what we want, which is Super's ultimate charge up. So now, we'll switch to Sucros. Enhanced Panama Module 7 oh. stand clear. Absorption test. And drop her ultimate. Keep back! And you can see how it just clean sweeps the enemies. This is where we move in with the genre. Nice go Go Jin Chu's ultimate. And then we move in with Razor. Because you've got to keep pressuring them damage. Otherwise. Otherwise. Um. Their defeat will be forever out of your grasp. You can see here. I'm just running in. Animal test 63. Stand clear. Out of the frying pan. Into the. Rain outlines your face. Uh -huh. Oops. <laughs> and if you were just moving in with. Um, Witness the power of good one. And then go. Sit close and do. And then we, we raise the electro charge. And then once again, we go back in with this attack support. And at the end, you get healing for your razor. And now I've got to do the, the honorable ritual of claiming rewards. Of course, being get anything too good, I didn't get much good stats on these pieces. Thanks for watching this video. Please subscribe, it's free. You can unsubscribe at any point, and it just helps the algorithm recommend you my videos because you know I assume you'd want to see more if you've already clicked on this. Anyway, I'll see you in the next video, which will be a build guide on fishel.